He just, he's, he's, his junior college experience is helpful. Um, he's still learning our system, but he knows how to play the game, and he likes to play the game, and he's confident. And he's a good athlete. He's still learning about the conditioning and the level of effort it requires to play here. Um, really capable. And that's, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't earn a role in there. Are you moving Sky to free, or was that just with Travis out today? And just with Travis out today. We're just trying to match, mix and match to okay. get through two, uh, three groups. Okay. Mike, having, coming back into your mission, um, Baker Pritchard seems to be doing really well. Talk about this progression a little bit. Yona Pritchard? Yona Pritchard. Yeah, Yona is, um, I rarely like to compare, but he's, he's the best analogy would be, he'd be like Manasseh. He's, he's going to be able to catch the ball well, block well. He can run it adequately as well. And... Um, really, really a nice addition and kind of beyond what I thought he might be capable of this early. So he's been one of the surprises to talk about. In terms of an uh, emerging fullback, um, can you talk about the overall group as a whole? and just uh, like Really, the, the fullbacks, I would just mention as true fullbacks, both um, Yona and Zed, and they're different mm -hmm. styles. Zed is more the eye fullback, and uh, Yona is more versatile and can do a little bit more with the ball after he catches it, but each will have their own role. Manoa's, I mean, uh, Jonas will probably be more expanded than Zed. Zed's more specific as a lead blocker. Does that switch to the, uh, the, the situation with Michael Lisa a little bit? A little bit. Uh, Mike is, is come somewhere in between and a little bit more athletic fullback, but also a potential ball carrier. So we're still kind of trying to identify what his role might be. McKay's talked about looking to bounce back from last year. What have you seen from him in week one? More confidence, um, more consistency and just a higher energy and effort level. And I think uh, Coach Cahoon has really made an impact on him. He just seems to be uh, executing at a more precise level. And so it just he's carrying himself with more confidence and I think more excitement about the future. Coach Dillon's going to be on the field. It, was that his call or did you have uh, any... well, I left. I left it up to him. Um, we certainly talked about it and I gave him my impressions. But it's not only where Coach Dolman needs to be. We looked at the entire staff and then thought, where do the strengths, where do strengths match best? And in looking at the entirety, we thought um, Coach Dolman on the field was, in relation to what everyone else could do, that was the right thing to do. We consider Marcus Matthews still. A